Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm here to narrate to you guys the greatest story ever told. Oh. Once upon a time, there was a fall from grace to grass. From a heavenly experience between an almighty creator, the Abba Father, to the saddest breakup any life can experience. The ties that bind man to a great God got severed. Man had listened to the wrong voice. The voice of this enemy. And experienced the most tragic short change that ever occurred. The all clans paid the tithe from Emma blood offering to use of prophets, priests, and kings. There was always a shortfall. Nothing could fully make whole. Then God devised a plan to son himself in the form of his very own son to buy back what he had loved and created. The plan was intricate. Deep, complex, and there was no way even the devious, dark, evil enemy could interfere. It involved partnership with the very group he had sought to redeem. God partnered with man for man's redemption. This, this is, is the greatest, greatest love story ever told. God chose his handmaiden, a young virgin, as his favorite to carry his gift that will initiate the greatest redemption to ever occur. The angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin and exposed man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. What men are being is this? Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you were conceived in your womb and gave birth to a son. And you will call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. He will reign of the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be since I'm a virgin? The Holy Spirit has come upon you and overshadowed you. Behold, your cousin Elizabeth is also pregnant. This is her sixth month, even though she's very old. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. My soul magnifies the Lord. No, no. Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Be unto me according to your word. So Mary got up and after much pondering, decided to visit her cousin and big sister figure in the hill country of Judah. Iron sharpens iron, and in the multitude of counsel, there were safety. Let's pause and ponder a little bit. Who do you go to when troubled? And who do you seek encouragement and counsel from? The Holy Spirit, the Elizabeth figures in our lives, or do we reach out to unsafe places? Think about this as Mary takes her journey to the hill country of Judah.
comes in the name of Jehovah, the Lord God who redeems and restores and lifts up our head. Shalom. What manner of greeting is this? The baby in my womb leaps for joy. Who am I that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? Blessed is he that believes in the things told to her, for there shall surely be a performance. My soul magnifies the Lord and praises him greatly. He has regarded my lowly estate and foretrosen me. For behold, from this day onwards, all generations shall call me blessed. Welcome, little sister. Stay with me for the next three months, and I will tell you all the Lord has done for me and my husband, Zechariah, the priest of God. So it came to pass that Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months and continued quietly until the baby had arrived. At this same time period, did I tell you that Mary was betrothed, another word for engaged, to Joseph of the lineage of David? Nobleman indeed, and plans for the wedding were in flight. Once Joseph saw development in Mary, he decided to call off the relationship in secret, the gentleman that he is. But one night, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, saying, What manner of dream is this? An angel of the Lord appeared to me? This is difficult, but I shall obey. I shall trust and obey. Now I shall be on my way to visit sweet Mary. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Yeah. Who's here seats and eyes and ears curious to learn more? Yeah. Now it came to pass that in those days, Caesar Augustus of the Roman Empire ordered for a census to be, for a census to occur for tax purposes. Each man was to go to his hometown to be counted. Joseph and Mary made their way to Bethlehem to be counted in the census. For Joseph was of the lineage of David, and his hometown was in Bethlehem, even though he lived in Nazareth. There might be a tricky after this, so please pay attention to the text. Now at this time, Mary... Now at this time, Mary was heavily pregnant, and her time to put to bed was near. Let's see how the story unfolds. <laughs> We are going, heaven knows where we are going, we know where they are going. Joseph, I can't go any longer, I think it's time for the baby. Oh dear. All the lodges we checked are full. What's a man to do? This doesn't look good, but desperate times calls for desperate measures. Can we please have a small place to spend the night? 
my wife Mary's labor. There's no room in the inn itself. If you like, there's some space where the animals rest and feed, just so your family can have a place for the night. I do not like, but there are no other options. I'll take this off. Thank you for your kindness, sir. Silent night, holy night, all is bright. Not sure about how calm. On this cold, seemingly night, in the small town of Bethlehem, an unusual, historic event had occurred. The holy child was born. For God, the heavens rejoiced. For God's redemption plan had been initiated on earth. Glory in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill to men. Now there were shepherds abiding in the fields watching their sheep at night. God did not leave himself without a witness. Angels of the Lord appeared to them, announcing Christ's birth. At the same time, Magi in the east saw the star that signified this notable occurrence. Being wise and discerning their time, they too made their way to see their newborn king. I bring you tidings of great joy. Today in the city of David is born the Savior of the world, who is Christ, the Anointed One. arise and go to Bethlehem. We must see the newborn king. I can't believe we get to see this historic day when the deliverer of Israel comes to the world. Peace on earth and good to men.
newborn king. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Christmas play. <laughs> and I'm also hoping you guys took away some lessons, too. Lessons of being discreet in the midst of God's work, discerning the times. May we all receive the gift of God's will wrapped up in the form of his son, Jesus Christ, this Christmas. From the King's Kids Ministry to the entire church, we say, Merry Christmas! Joy. Yes, we do the snow, and I want to horse up and sleigh. Sleigh to take the road, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! The universe is sweet, making spirits bright.
the golden child, the overachiever, pretty as a flower, as graceful as a princess, the teacher's pet. Why can't you be more like Mary? That girl in the choir is preg what? Pregnant? The group chats are chatting. Their mouths are running. Little do they know that the one they gossip about is the one they will one day call Lord. A secret you can tell no one because they'll definitely call you crazy. Mary, Mary, blessed amongst women. So bravely you replied, thy will be done. But when the angel departed, you wondered, will Joseph still love you? School, your regular routine, your dreams, put on pause to bring hope personified into the world. Wow, look at her. She's way too young to be a mother. I thought she was a virgin. She says it was the Holy Spirit, but how can that be? It doesn't make any sense. She's not even married, and she don't got no shame either. No shame at all. No shame at all. I heard that she traveled to Auntie Elizabeth's house for the summer, and that's where I think she got pregnant. It's the girls who got the daddy issues. I mean, they mess around with the boys early. She should get child support on that baby because, you know, this generation just needs help. Lord have mercy for real. Hey, y'all, Ray. It's me, Mary. I can't speak right now because they are watching me. If you are wondering how your son is doing, the doctor says he is doing great. He is kicking me a lot. Please ask the Holy Spirit to calm him down. How am I, you ask? Well, for the past few months, I have been mocked, dismissed, embarrassed, disgraced, and hurt. Nobody believes that you came to me, that you, God, you chose me. Your angel told me do not be afraid and that I will give birth to a great man and he will be the son of the most high. Lord, I am truly afraid. I have never even given birth before. I have no insurance and the bills are adding up. I started a YouTube page as a form of income and I barely have any followers. <laughs> Joseph has ignored all my texts and calls. I listened, Lord, I obeyed, but the pain and shame is too much to bear. I feel so discouraged by the amount of enemies and haters that have grown. Is this what my baby boy must face as he steps into his destiny? Where is the hope? There she goes again, just crying and crying. It's like she'll just cry all day. Somebody should really tell her that she shouldn't be bent over like that, you know? It's not good for the baby, that's what I heard. You know what my neighbor told me? Joseph ain't even a daddy. Oh. That small boy, he doesn't even have a proper job. To talk less of talk, taking care of the baby that is not even his? Yeah, girl. If it was up to me, I would just tell him to break up with Mary, you know? Mm. Especially since it's not his baby. What a loss. She comes from such a nice family. He comes from a nice family. And look at the predicament that they're in. Wow. She should have had his baby so that she would be set up. Instead of living in Nork, she could be living in Baskin Ridge. Well, girl, it's okay. That's her loss. I'm going to tell my cousin so she can go with Joseph because I think they should just break up anyway, you know? But they'll be okay. Trust me. But they're not even over yet. Ugh. Ugh. How will I give birth to this baby? I don't have insurance. I don't have money, and no one wants to hire a pregnant girl. My family won't even help me, and my friends are nowhere to be found. And Joseph, he hasn't been answering my calls. I can already imagine what he's even thinking about me. This is not how I planned my life to be. I gave her a promise ring to signify that we'll wait until marriage years from now when we're done with school. And now she's pregnant. Lord, I don't know what to do. Everyone is telling me I should break up with her. She's just not the girl I used to know. I can't even think anymore. I don't know what to do. 
My baby boy needs to come into this world to do great things. And I need to be strong and believe. Just as the great King David said, I will remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of God. I need to believe that my hope is in me, through you. You are being formed to save the world. Please, Lord, provide the strength and help that I need to make it through and fulfill my calling. A Holy Ghost interruption. A fairy tale white wedding exchange for an assignment. Not what I expected my honeymoon to be. But heaven will definitely make up for it. Isn't it funny how controversy follows favor? Faith will push me through the fear and uncertainty. In a season of misunderstanding, this is my comfort in my affliction. Your word keeps me alive. For centuries, the people of God hoped for someone to come to their rescue. They were helplessly sinful and broken beyond repair. That first Christmas, the arrival of Jesus was what they had hoped for. He came to free them from their bondage and despair. To forgive them for the endless way they had gone astray. And to heal their broken hearts. We too welcome Jesus at Christmas. to give us forgiveness and healing. This Christmas, find the hope that can only be found in Jesus.
through Adam, that he has lost the life of paradise, and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. Genesis 3. Then the Lord God called to man, where are you? He replied, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you you were naked? The Lord asked, have you eaten the fruit? Have you eaten from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to? The man replied, it was the woman you gave me who, who gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then the Lord asked the woman, what have you done? The, Lord, the serpent deceived me, she replied. That's why I ate of it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed. All animals, domestic and wild, you will crawl on your belly, groveling in the dust as long as you live. And I will cause hostility between you and the woman. And because your offspring and her, because between you and your offspring and her, he will strike your head. You will strike his heel. Then he said to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy. In pain, you will give birth. And you will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over you. And to the man, he said, since you listened to your wife and ate from the tree, whose fruit I commanded you not to eat, the ground is cursed because of you. All of your life, you will struggle to scratch a living from it. It will grow thorns and thistles for you, though you will eat of its grains. By the sweat of your brow, you will have food to eat until, until you return to the ground from which you were made. For you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Thanks be to God. God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Then the angel of the Lord called again to Abraham from heaven. This is what the Lord says, because you have obeyed me and have not withheld even your son, your only son, I swear by my own name that I will certainly bless you. I will multiply your descendants beyond number. Like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore, your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies. And through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, all because you have obeyed me. Thanks be to God. Oh, 
7, the prophet foretells the coming of the Savior. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. The peace that Christ will bring is for show. I say Isaiah 11, out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot, yes, a new branch bearing, bearing fruit from the old root. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance nor make a decision based on hearsay. He will give justice to the poor and make fair decisions for the exploited. The earth will shake at the force of his word and one breath from his mouth will destroy the wicked. He will wear righteousness like a belt and truth like an undergarment. In, the day, in that day, the wolf and lamb will live together. The leopard will lie down with the baby goat. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion, and a little child will lead them all. The cow will graze near the bear, the cub and the calf will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like a cow. The, the baby will play safe near the hole of a cobra. Yes, a little child will put its hand in a nest of deadly snakes without harm. Nothing will hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for as the waters fill the sea, so the earth will be filled with the people who know the Lord. Thanks be to God. Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King. His name 
month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, greetings, favored woman, the Lord is with you. Confused yet disturbed, Mary tried to think of what the angel could mean. Do not be afraid, angel, the angel told her. For you have found favor with the Lord. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will give his name, you will name him Jesus. He will be a very great, he will be a very great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give you give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, But how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her, own, in her old age. People used to say she would be barren, but she has conceived a son, and now is in her sixth month. For the word of the Lord will never fail. Mary responded, I am thy Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come to pass. And the angel left her. Thanks be to God. Luke tells, the, um, tells of the birth of Jesus from Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. At that time, the Roman emperor, Augustus, decreed that the census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken from Quir Quirinius, was governor of Sar uh, Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiance, who was now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Thanks be to God. Would calm 
the storm with his hand. Did you know that your baby boy would walk where angels try when you kiss your little baby? You kiss the face of God, oh Mary, did you? Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I will bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. Thanks be to God. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Matthew 2, verse 1 to 12. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem, asking, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as everyone in Jerusalem he called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, where is this Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah are not least among the ruling cities of Judah, for a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a priding meeting with his wise men, and he learned from them to the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route. 
For God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Thanks be to God.
lesson of Christmas. St. John unfolds the great mystery of incarnation. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell about the light. The one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He came into every world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. But to all who believed in him and accepted him, he gave them the right to become children of God. They are reborn, not with a physical birth, resulting from human passion or plan, but a birth that comes from God. So the Word became human and made his home amongst us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son, Thanks be to God. Amen.
Why don't we all stand up and give them a big applause. Just bless God for these wonderful, 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 wonderful ministrations. Have you enjoyed tonight? How about the children? How about... Oh, is that all we can give them? These kids were incredible. I think that that, that that performance should be adapted for some Hollywood movie or some Disney, Disney movie. They should receive an award of, of the play of the year. Amen. You guys were incredible. Please be seated for, for just some few minutes. Um, you know, all the nine lessons that we have read tonight from the first lesson to the ninth lesson point to the same theme. Um, the reason this is so important, carol service, Christmas service, is so important is that it reminds us of the one thing, the one person of whom we are who we are and we are where we are. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what Christmas is all about. I know that if you look around, it feels like the world, the whole world is in in a frenzy, you know, people are going crazy. Shopping malls are filled, you know, with, with people, traffic everywhere. Um, you know, the, the people can't even say or they don't understand what Christmas really is except for the shopping, except for the eating, except for the travel. Um, it is the reason in our world today some call it a holiday. Because to many people, it is just another holiday or a major holiday. But, but Christmas is bigger than that. Christmas is bigger than the shopping. It's bigger than all the, all the things that you can think about. And, and, you know, if you read or you go to libraries, I know our libraries and, and today in our movie theaters, we are filled with so many great movies, stories that fill the piles of of libraries and, 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 and our movie theaters from the Avengers to the Superman and the Spider-Man stories and all the way down to Shakespeare stories, the romantic stories and what have you. But there is no story that is as authentic and as real as the story of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, your amen is not. You know, <laughs> they can all, all those stories can somehow hold you spellbound. But the story of our Lord Jesus Christ, like was seen in all the, 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 the performances or ministrations from our children to our young adult Gen X to all the songs through the lessons, they make us know that indeed he is eternal. He is the God Almighty who became flesh and dwelt among us. The owner of the universe who would leave his glory and come and live in poverty so that you and I will become rich in him. Come on. Come on. Come on. It, it, it is a great story. And in just five minutes, just want to remind you that the entirety of the Bible is about him. From the beginning in Genesis, from Genesis 1 all the way through, Revelation is about our Lord Jesus Christ. He's portrayed in Genesis as the breath of life. When God said, let there be light, he spoke the word and the word came into being. In Exodus, he is known as the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's our high priest. In the book of Numbers, he's a fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is Moses' voice. In the book of Joshua, he is salvation's choice. In Judges, he is the lawgiver. In the book of Ruth, he is the kinsman redeemer. First and second Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. I'm talking about Jesus. In the book of Kings and the Chronicles, 1st Kings, 2nd Kings, 1st, 2nd Chronicles, he is sovereign. In Ezra, he is true and faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of broken walls and lives. In Esther, he is Mordecai's courage. In Job, he is the timeless 
Redeemer. In the book of Psalms, he's our morning song. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. In Proverbs, he's wisdom's cry. Ecclesiastes, he's a time and the season. In the song of Solomon, this Jesus is the lover's dream. He is Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus Christ whom we celebrate today. In Isaiah, he is the prince of peace. Jeremiah says he is the weeping prophet. In Lamentations, the cry for Israel. In Ezekiel, he is the call from sin. In Daniel, he is a stranger in the fire. In Hosea, he is forever faithful. In Joel, he is the spirit's power. In Amos, the arms that carry us. In Obadiah, Obadiah he is the Lord our Savior. In Jonah, he is a great missionary. Are we still talking about this Jesus? In Micah, he is a promise of peace. In Nahum, he is our strength and our shield. In Habakkuk and Zephaniah, he is pleading for revival. In Haggai, he restores a lost heritage. In Zechariah, he is our fountain. In Malachi, he is the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. Are we still talking about Jesus tonight? In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he is God. And he is the man. And he is the Messiah. In the book of Acts, he is fire from heaven. In Romans, he is the grace of God bestowed on us. First and second Corinthians is the power of love. In Galatians, he is freedom from the curse of sin. In Ephesians, he is our glorious treasure. Philippians, he is the servant heart. In Colossians, he is the Godhead Trinity. First and second Thessalonians, he is our coming king. In Timothy, in Titus, in Philemon, he's our mediator and our faithful pastor. Are we still talking about Jesus? Are you still celebrating Jesus tonight? In Hebrews, he's the everlasting covenant. In James, the one who heals the sick. The first and second Peter, he is our shepherd. In John and in Jude, he's a lover coming to, for his bride. And in the book of Revelation, this Jesus is the king, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the alpha and the omega. He's the beginning and the end. He was in the beginning. He is with us and forever he will be. Our God and our Savior. He is Jesus. Tonight we celebrate Jesus the Savior. We celebrate Jesus the one that death could not hold. The one that grave gave up and said we can't swallow him up. He is the Lord our Savior. That is what Christmas is about. He is the one that saved a wretch like me. Tonight it's about Jesus. Christmas is not about any man. It's not about the wealth of the world. It's about this Jesus. Can you please join me, stand up and applaud this Jesus wherever you are as we celebrate him. Come on. If he is your savior, if he is your redeemer, if he is your friend, if he is anything that we have read all through these scriptures, can you just celebrate Jesus? Can you say, Jesus, we love you. Your birth to the world, the Bible says, John says that, and the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. Oh, can you bless Jesus tonight? Can I get some, uh, just take some few seconds and shout his praise. Bless Jesus. We have sang about him. We celebrate him. Hallelujah. Amen. You may please be seated. Before we do that one, there's a dear daughter here. I don't even know, maybe I should call her granddaughter now. But there's a beautiful, beautiful daughter of mine here. She's always loved to sing with me and she said, this Christmas, she must sing with me. I think it was last year. Was it last year or the year before that she was supposed to sing with me? It was last year. And COVID showed up. And we couldn't do our song. So please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome a superstar, a rising star. 
in this generation. Krista Donko. Come on, are you celebrating this one? Now let's do it and shame the devil that he tried last year. You couldn't sing with pastor. It's always been her dream. Is she getting a microphone? And let's, uh, let's try this. Timeless tale which angels sing To earth below from heaven's glory The promise of a newborn king Hiding in a garden shame Faithfulness displayed from Isaac on to Jacob, a light to guide the way. The promise of a child, soon he will appear. The promise of a child, redemption drawing near, is woven in the pages, anthems for the ages. Creation records the promise. Uh, come on, Krista, everyone. <laughs> Will the tribe of Judah, the oath again is heard from the law of Moses, a child who will be king, the royal son of David, a child who will be king, the ruler of the nations that soon will appear. The ruler of the nations, soon we appear. The promise of a child, redemption drawing near. It's moving in the pages, it echoes through the ages. Creation reconciled the promise of a child. Yonder breaks the glorious morn, the night when Jesus Christ is born. Peace as man with man to dwell, the Jesus Christ, the man of Give it up, give it up for hey, man. All right. All right, now let's try this. Reach 
rejoice, rejoice, be mine. No well shall come to be, oh, he dry Thou road of Jesse free Thine own from Satan's tyranny From depths of hell Thy people say and give them victory oh, 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 oh the grave rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee oh Rejoice, 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 be my shall come to me, oh ye. Let me see your hand and say, man, oh well, rejoice. Till he 
appeared and a soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh hear the angel voices oh night When Christ was born, oh, night divine, oh, night, oh, night Another, his law is love, and his gospel is peace. Chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name. All oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise. Weep, let all within us praise His holy name. His name forever, no well, no well, oh night, oh night divine, no Fall on your knees Night divine Oh night When Christ was born Oh night Divine Oh night Oh night
Now everybody can sing this. We wish you. Come on, stand on your feet. We wish you a merry Turn to about 10 people and wish them a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Come on, 10 people.
Sit now on the stage. Sit. Sit. Now tell me, raise your hand, and I'll call you. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Raise your hand, yes. Unwrapping the presents. Unwrapping the presents, yes. Being with friends and family. Being with friends and family. Spending time with all of you guys. Oh! Watching movies with my family. Oh, you guys are awesome. How Christ was born. Oh. So we can remember Jesus. You remember Jesus. Going to Kononia night. Giving presents to others. Giving presents to others. All right, let me try the other side because I know you're ready to beat me up. Over here. All right. Eating candy canes. <laughs> that one too. That one too. Yes. And eating candy. Eating candy. Hallelujah. Being nice to other people. Oh. Spending time with friends and family. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's all be honest here. It's not about Jesus. It's about the presents. Yes. Whose son is this one? Is that the pastor's son? Oh my goodness. Oh. Pastor Mike. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. I'm joyful for my family. Oh, that's nice. Attending her. Come on, church, and every Christmas. Okay. Giving uh, my family gifts. Giving your family gifts. Staying with people I know. Okay. Singing with your family. Staying with church family, yeah. The show that we just did right now. The show we just... Why don't you all give these children a mighty round of... How about Santa is in the house? All right, now you all move away from the screen. Don't lean on the screen. Um, you've all been good kids, listen to me. You've all been good kids. You've done very well. And so tonight everybody goes home with a present. And I want you to say a big thank you. Now, if you talk on the stage, already you are getting yourself canceled out on the list. And so if you don't keep quiet, you might go home without a present. Mm -hmm. But I want you all to say thank you to all these wonderful people who give you all these presents. So say thank you to them. All right, so when I call your name, you walk down nicely. And how are we? Come here. Oh, we have cards. <laughs> Sit here with me. Where are all my teachers? Please, I want you to applaud these teachers. Come on, teachers, come and stand here. Uh, is that how we appreciate our teachers in the house? They've worked so hard all year taking care of these amazing children. Okay, so let, let's start with these cards. Let's start with, is Imani here? Imani Bonsu. Imani, 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 Imani. How about Prince Kwanza? No. Skylar Kwanza. No. Those that are not here, I can take home with me. I can do a good shopping with them. How about Soa? 
Soa is here. Soa, come on, Soa. Come on, Soa. Come on, Soa. Direct them on that side. How about... How about Aaron a champion? Soa? How about Aaron? How about to me? Good. To me. Don't 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 jump. Don't jump to me. How about Ellen Donko? You take a picture with Santa as well. Now. If you're taking a picture picture with Santa and you cry, we get the, the gift back. Come on, Ellen. How about Keith? Keith Kumolo. Keith. Here we go. Michelle, you want to stand here with me and then get them from there here, those who are not here. Emily Osei. I think I saw Emily not here. Prince Kwanza. No? All right, Joel Amon. Joel, Joel is here, guys. How about Lily, Lily Dubate? Come on, Lily. Joel, come on, this way. Joel, this way, prof, this way. Lily. Josiah, yes. Josiah. Chloe, Chloe Dadin. Chloe. GD, jo Josiah. GD. Come on, GD. Nana Opon. Joel Frimpon. Come on, GD. Yeah, this way. Nana Opon. How about Aubrey? How about Joel Frimpon? Christelle, Christelle Donko, Christelle. Come on, give it up for our soloist of the night. I think I messed up the song a little bit, but we did well. We did very well, right? Great job, Christelle. Emmanuel Owu. Is Emmanuel here? Godwin. Come on, Emmanuel. Come on, Godwin. Benji Lindo. Benji, come on, Benji. Joel Tego. Yana, Yana Osito. Yana. Joel is not here. Cheryl, Cheryl Ba. Come on, Cheryl. Adriel. Come on, Adriel. Adriel, it is not all about a gift. It is truly for Jesus, okay? And then people don't care. So what is your message to all the kids now? That it doesn't matter if there's um, presents under the tree or none. Jesus, it's all about Jesus. That's right, Israel. That's it. Julia. Come on, Julia. Oh, come on, Julia. Doesn't she do an amazing job at emceeing the... The, the, the narrator for the play. All right, now let's go over here. Ruel. Ruel is not here. Liesel. Come on, Liesel. Jolene. Jeffrey, oh, oh, Ruel is here. Ruel is here. All right, Ru. Go take a picture with Santa. Jeffrey Donko. Both. Come on, Jeffrey. 
So these are all the gifts that parents gave you according to the to the things that they put on the Christmas tree. So they placed their request and they got the gifts. Amaya Joy Spear. John. John Achilles. Naraya Ayite Ajin. Naraya. Thank you, parents. Thank you for making them happy. Wendell Lindor. Wendell. No. That's your name, right? Yeah. Jotham. Jotham Asante. Come on, Jotham. Michelle Veneska. Oh, Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. All right, sir, Mitchell. Faith, Faith Mitchell, Faith. Come on, Faith. Ayeyi Opon. Over here, over here, go take a picture. Ayeyi Opon. Ivani Barima. Dom Barima. Come on. What was Dom? Was he a shepherd or what was he? But I was a king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look good in that crown. Joy in Sian. Joy. Michel Noah. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Naomi Wilson. Naomi is right here. Melissa Veneska. Jatniel. Come on, Jatniel. I like your suit, son. I like it. I like your suit and your bow tie. Ian Anoche. Ian Anoche. Oh. All right. Nyansa. Come on. Lily Dogwate. Lily. Lily. All right. Awesome. Joshua Mills. All right, jo Joshy. Those sneakers, man. That looks good. Na Anum. Come on, Na. Uh. Rina, Riri. Rina. Come on, Ri. All right, Riri. Tamar Brown. Tamar. Jonathan Nunu. Oh, come on, let's clap for them. Let's make them look good. Yeah. Jonathan, what were you? Were you a shepherd or an angel? You were a shepherd. Good job. Star. Star. Come on, Star. Jude, Jude Ansan, 
Jason Asma Joram Oh, 
Moses and for Lawrence. Come on, stand on your feet, everyone. Mommy. Let's celebrate. Let's give ourselves a big, big, big round. Of, have you enjoyed tonight? Well, this is what koinonia is all about. Koinonia comes from the word, uh, I mean, from koinonia means fellowship. All right. So from the Greek word koinonia, we have fellowship and that is what it's all about. And for us, it also means a time to give back to our children who have been awesome all year. And we want you to know that we love you. Thanks to everyone for your giving. You made it very easy. Every parent, every father, every mother, sister, what have you, gave to these children as you plucked their names from that tree. And I pray that as you gave, the Lord will give back to you. Amen. Please use this season tomorrow, Saturday. Spend time with family, loved ones. You know, love, you know. If you have no one, call somebody home and say, let's you know, go buy some 99 cent cupcake and just have a party. It's okay, you know, just do yourself, get some water, just put some, uh, um, what is that thing called? Yeah, we don't have syrup. You know, the syrup you have is a wrong syrup. Did I tell you the story? Let me tell you, this is the last story I'll tell you about syrup. It's just a bus over here. You know, when I came to the country for the first time, you know where I come from? When you say syrup, it means a different thing. You know, syrup, you know, is the juice. You mix it in water and all of that. And I had visited from Ghana. I would come from Ghana for the first time several years ago. And Sister Abba, who is here, was very kind. The family, they laid the table before me in the presence of my enemies. And they put, you know, pancakes, you know, piled up. And they put a bottle there with a glass. And the bottle said syrup. <laughs> and where I come from, when, when you see syrup, you ask for water. So I took the syrup and I poured it into the glass. <laughs> and I said, where is water? Because <laughs> I was about to stay it and drink it. Because where I come from, we drink syrup. It is juice. And he said, no, 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 no. Here, you put it on the pancake. I said, no, you guys have it all backwards. But we bless God. You know, concentrated juice. So you pour it in a glass and you mix it with water. But we bless God. It's been an awesome night. I, I want mommy to say a prayer for us in closing as we leave tonight. Please bow down your heads as we receive prayer. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise, all the glory. Actually, I want everybody to lift a voice and thank God. Just lift a voice and say thank you to God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Lift your voice and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you. Somebody woke up and is still not alive at this moment. So say thank you. You are here. You have breath. Say thank you. You went to work. You drove. There was no accident on the way. You are. You have everything that you are supposed to have. Say thank you. Children, thank God for the gifts that you have. Thank God. Lift your voice and say thank you. Somebody is asking for a gift they don't have. It. Somebody have nobody to even hug. Somebody have nobody to say hello to. Somebody doesn't have any friend, doesn't have any family. So you, you have it. And I need you to lift your voice and say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. We honor your name. We give you all the praise and all the glory. You alone are God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for the peace that you brought us. Thank you for the joy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, the Messiah. Thank you. We are grateful. We thank you for every single thing. Thank you for every man. Thank you for every woman. Thank you for every child. Thank you for every young adult, every youth. We thank you, Lord, for House of Restoration. We thank you for our leaders. We thank you for tonight. Thank you for everything that we did. All the glory goes to you. 
We pray, oh God, that your hand will rest upon each and every one, oh God. Especially these children. I pray that they will grow in you. They will not depart from you. I pray that you will establish them in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every single individual here, every family here, I pray committing them into your care. Father, I ask, oh God, that at this moment, anybody that is down, give them joy. Anybody that is sick, I pray that you heal them in the name of Jesus. I pray that the one that needs mercy, Father, show them mercy. The one, oh God, that, that don't know what to do, I pray that you will come through for them. I pray that you put laughter in the mouth of people, that in this season, you will smile on your people and you will show yourself strong on your people. Father, families that don't know what to eat, that don't have gifts, that don't know what to do, I pray that you bring them hope and I pray that you open the windows of heaven upon them and surprise them anything that anybody is believing you for I pray that in this season of joy in this season of peace this time that Lord you can let your grace abound unto all of us and let your hand be upon us we honor you we give you all the glory we give you all the praise thank you for Jesus thank you Father thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus name Amen just before you gone, I wanted to give a big shout out to Voices of Judah, Minister Sibu, Voice of Judah, God bless you. Please, our musicians, celebrate our musicians also. Thank you so much. Our media team, especially Yuji, Daniel and the team for the last minute tuning and making sure that we have all this on. We love you. Our ushers in the house, please appreciate them. All those behind the scenes that our events, Sister Hilda and her team, God bless you for making it possible. Thank you to our children's teachers and everyone, our ministers and the pastors. Please be safe driving back and looking forward to see you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Merry Christmas. And whilst we are there,